Hey there, Evie Jerks. So we have a question from Billy from Chattanooga. He asks, does the climate control settings alter the range estimate on the ID4? Is it that smart? I don't know. Let's find this out. Now, quick aside, I found myself really, really aware of how far, like what the range is, where I'm going, what the topography is like. Am I going uphill? Because that's going to decrease the range. Those kinds of things I have found out. HVAC system and different drive modes, I have not. So let's take a quick look and see what we can figure out. Look, I don't want my wife to have to push, but if I make a miscalculation, that's what's gonna happen. Look at the range, 191 miles estimated. Air conditioning is on, 191, watch this. Oh my God, really? Okay, air conditioning off, boom. Range goes up to 200. So it appears the ID4 does in fact, do a little calculation. 200 range, air conditioning off. I'm gonna hit air conditioning on. And it drops by seven miles of range. So it does account for the air conditioning HVAC system being on in the range estimate. Okay, we have to do this quick. Look, 226, I'm in sport mode. Oh, it changes off it every time. If I change to eco, just hit eco, it goes to 230. I get four more miles of range. If I go to comfort, 228, so slightly more efficient than sport, but not quite as much as eco. And then if I go to traction, 228. So 228, this is sport, 227, comfort, 228, eco, 231. Very interesting. Now all of that was with the HVAC system off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We're at 231. I don't even know what mode we're in. I forgot. So AC is on. Turn that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and put that at 69. Okay, so now we're at 212 and the mode is eco. So 212 and eco with the AC on. We go to comfort. 209, we go to sport, so we go back to comfort there, then we go sport, and that's 208, and then we go traction, 209, back to eco, 211, I'm at 80% state of charge, let's get there quick, 80%, come on. Oh, oh, go ahead, just take all day. We're at 80% state of charge. So kind of interesting range figures when you start mixing in AC and different, um, different modes. Nice. Pretty cool as far as the estimates go. Looks like it does make some uh, changes to the calculation based on drive mode, based on is the HVAC system on. I'll check the heated seat and steering wheel as well at some point, just not today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead and like, subscribe. Other than that, I'm off to save the planet because, you know, I bought an EV and all. I'll go burn a tire in my honor. <clears throat> See you, jerks. I don't have an outro. So how about this?